Today we're installing a front hitch designed for an MJFX lift kit on a club car precedent. Included in the kit is the receiver, hardware, and the ball mount. To do this, we're going to use a 17 millimeter socket and a cordless drill. Now let's get started. Before we begin our installation, you need to turn the key switch to off and engage the parking brake. You'll notice that we picked the front of the cart up and place it on jack stands. We're going to use a 17 millimeter socket and remove the four bolts that are holding the spring plate on under the lift kit. Retain your plate, but do not retain the hardware. Now you're going to take your receiver. You'll notice the five holes here on the plate. The center hole is for your spring bolt. The four outside holes are where our new hardware will come up through the bottom of the lift kit and attach to the frame. You're going to pull your lift kit down you may need a wedge, place it on top of the plate. When the receiver is in place, it'll sit tight to the top of the lift kit main plate. Now using the longer hardware supplied with your kit, you're going to attach the spring plate to the bottom side of your lift kit. We recommend using thread locking adhesive when installing the four bolts. Once all are in place, then tighten. Once your receiver is secured, you can install your ball mount and you're now finished installing your MJFX front trailer hitch designed for the Mad Jacks lift kit on a club car precedent. 